Mistakes make you or break you. At least that's what my granddad always said when I was a little kid. He just would tell me that. I think he was probably correct. And much like old granddad saw some questionable things back in his day, like using LSD as a cure for alcoholism, because that makes sense. There are some big mistakes that are still being made today, all in the name of getting into the fun before it's too late. How much money did you lose on the old Dogecoin in 2021 when the bubble burst? How many NFTs have you bought, right? In the same way as cryptocurrencies kind of rose into the limelight, the tire shortages of the last few years really caused a ton of new companies to enter the truck tire market with some variable results. We'll leave it at that. I'm Dusty the Custom Office. It's Dusty.co on Instagram if that's your thing. And today's video is all about some mistakes that folks make when they're getting into the tire game. Let's get into it. When you build a few trucks a week over the last eight-ish years, you tend to see a few different types of tires come through the doors. I mean, after all, with over 150,000 wheels and tires in stock, we may know a thing or two about rubbers. That's it's a play on words. Perhaps one of the biggest though is struggling to get our wheels and tires mounted and balanced at the local tire shop. It always turns into be just a cluster. And for that reason, we've made it easy peasy lemon squeezy for you guys to get your wheels and tires mounted and balanced at customoffsets.com. Heck, we'll even do it for free and ship it to your door in as little as seven days with quick delivery. Sounds like a hell of a deal, but hey, we're biased. Either way, check it out, customoffsets.com. Okay, let's talk about tires. One of the first mistakes that companies make when they're diving into the world of truck tires is by making a tire strictly based on looks alone. Now, sure, we all want a really good looking tire that we can flex on the gram with. That's just part of having a truck. But contrary to what some people may think, there's actually some science involved when it comes to designing a good tire. Here's how it works. The tread pattern of a tire is designed to do well, a few different things, but most importantly is to keep as much of the tread on the road and dry at all times so that way you can keep control of your truck when you're mobbing down the highway with your buddies, right? You Nobody wants to like spin out and go in the ditch. Next up, we're gonna have the actual tread blocks, which are really just chunks of rubber that hang out between the tread voids and their job is to stick to the ground and to maintain traction, which ultimately pushes the truck forward, right? Because the tires roll, because the engine rotates and rotates the tires, that's the way it works. It's also not uncommon to find smaller siping inside of these tread blocks, you know, like the Nitto you know, Mud Grappler, for example, which has these small little squiggly doodad looking line things in the big old tread blocks that, you know, it like helps grab snow. It's actually really cool. We did a video on this, but these sipes are really designed to move water, snow, and other material away from the center of the tread block again, so that tire is going to maintain that traction that we talked about earlier there, right? The problem arises here when companies design their tires with looks in mind first, or maybe looks in mind solely. This usually is especially true in some of the more budget-minded tires as they tend to appeal to a little bit of a larger audience, right? While it may get you a great looking tire, oftentimes these tires simply just don't perform as they should because the design isn't actually made to funnel any water away from the tread blocks, which really leads to terrible traction and rain. And also you end up with like lower load ratings. And in some cases you can have tire failures and that's not cool. Along those same lines, another big mistake we see a lot of new tire companies make when they get into the truck tire game here is designing a tire without actually testing the road noise that the tire makes. I love road noise as much as the next guy, but there are just some tires out there that are goddamn loud. Tire noise, if you didn't know, is caused by the air actually passing through those tread channels as the tire spins around going down the road. This resistance, this bouncing of the air is gonna cause vibrations in the tread channels, which is what leads that mud tire to hum or groan or whine as they go down the road. The number one example, the worst, loudest tire that I can think of off of the top of my head is the Nitto Mud Grappler. It's a fantastic tire in the mud. It looks beefy as hell, but coasting to a stop sign from 40 miles an hour literally sounds like you're shutting off a wood player in a shop. Like, it's bad. We see a lot of companies coming out with tires that look great until we get them on trucks and then notice that, you know, you can't have a conversation with your passenger at 30 miles an hour because all you hear is tire hum. Not necessarily a bad thing if you're a single guy or you're looking to roll down the road by yourself, but something to keep in mind as you guys are shopping for tires. And perhaps the biggest mistake that we see with new tire companies when launching new products, new tires, is blindly ordering thousands upon thousands of units of their tire without doing any sort of quality check beforehand. We get it. Making tires is pretty expensive. 
You've got research time, you've got mold cost, you've got revisions, you've got a source of factory, and then it takes time to actually produce them in the first place, right? And after that, there's still the time it takes to get them into a container ship and then load them onto a ship and ship them across the big pond and then get them in the United States and then get them through the port and then get them on a truck and then get them into the warehouse before you can even buy them. Because of this delay, a lot of new companies will think they're doing the right thing. They'll order a ton of inventory coming out swinging, sometimes with hundreds of thousands of tires at a time. Sometimes this works, and sometimes it, it doesn't. It doesn't always happen. However, there have been some instances where a new tire has come to market and immediately been pulled from the shelf because there's maybe some quality control issues that pop up, you know, with the first like 300 tires. When it comes to tires, quality assurance is like, it's like, it's like up here on the things that you just don't wanna mess up for 500 Trebek, right? For this reason, Nitto, for example, has one of the highest quality assurance processes of any tire manufacturer on the market. So much so that word on the street says they actually mount every single tire that comes off the line, meaning that not only can they assure you that it's actually gonna mount up, but that you won't have any issues when it comes to putting your tires on your new truck. But that's enough out of me. What's one mistake that you guys have learned when it comes to tires in the market? Drop a comment down below. And as always, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with all the things that we're doing here at Custom Offsets. With that, I'm Dustin. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.